Okay, let's continue our video. I know you're aching for more, and here we're giving you more. Let's uh, just discuss a little bit more on your roof. For your roof earlier, we've just done it based on the default settings. What are the default settings? The settings are, you have a slope which is 30 degrees. Kaya ganun kataas yung roof natin. Can you change that? Of course, you can change that to, let's say, 20 degrees. And you'll have a less steep roof. Now, if you would like to ask me, can we change the, the, the slope of the different parts of the roof? I mean, one part can be 30 degrees, the other part can be 20 degrees, and the other one can be a, a, a gable roof. Yes, of course you can do that, but uh, we uh, prefer to discuss that later on kasi medyo you need a few more skills to develop para makapunta tayo dun sa somehow intermediate level. So for now, let's discuss the basics. So the slope of the roof can be changed here. While if you want to pull the roof up or down manually, which you can do in 3D but we don't recommend it, we go to one of the le sections or elevations. So for this, let's say, hilahin natin pataas. Wanna pull it up a little bit. You can do it manually, right? Hilahin mo yan. You can do it manually. Hilahin mo dyan. You can do it manually. So let's see what happened to the 3D. So it just got messed up. Because that's not how you want your roof to look at. You look really especially this part right it's it's horrible so let's undo so don't do that editing type of editing pulling the arrow up or down okay. let's just learn uh, another way of uh, editing your roof for example you change your mind you don't want this to be a hip roof you want it to be a gable type roof so let's select on the roof and let's edit the footprint what you see here, yung uh, um, slope symbol is an, uh, is an uh, indication that it is sloping to that side. So if you click on it and uncheck the define roof slope, mawawala yung uh, roof slope niya, let's see what happens. Click on check. Ayun na. You already have that as your gable roof. So the next problem is what happens to this wall the wall should be at least attached to the bottom of the roof so what how to do that select the wall and automatically this will come out you have the option to attach top to base so we already selected the the, the bottom select attach top to base and select the roof which is your top and you've already closed it but the next thing here is your uh, you have to realign your you have to add more segments to your uh, roof fascia so if you click on that you can add a few more on those in okay. the next question I'm sure is how to cover this uh, gutter because obviously you don't have a gutter going through this end because you, you don't have water right there and that's uh, usual practice um, Rivet does not have the option to close this automatically, so you'll have to do that manually. But we will do that later on. Okay? So just for the sake of practice, let's do the other side. Edit din natin tong side na to. Select this roof again. Edit the footprint. Select one of the lines. And uncheck the define roof slope. And click on check. there again select the wall attach top to base and then select the roof and close the part of that and add your segment of your uh, uh, fascia select the fascia add remove segments and then add those segments yeah. so that's how you change 
the slopes of your roof on certain parts of your uh, uh, house, right? Now let's expand more on the material. I know last time, last uh, uh, lesson you wanted to learn more on the material. So let's select the, uh, click escape, and select the roof again, go to edit type, and now uh, what you can do is we can create another type of roof. So how do you do that? You click on duplicate, and then you name this as your uh, lesson 6 roof. Okay, this time you have a separate roof which you can choose from. Let's edit the structure. Thickness is similar. Let's change the thickness. Let's make it uh, uh, 200. And then let's go to the roofing tile material. The roofing tile material is fine, but we want to copy that material or we want to adjust that material. Go to the appearance. We can adjust the color. You uh, go to the graphics and change that color. Select from your palette. See what happens in the appearance. It's the same. Okay, this go. Go to the appearance again, and let's have a tint. Let's add a tint on it. Red or brown. Okay. So it, it changed. And then uh, to the physical part, that's fine. You don't need to change that. Go to the appearance. Click on this um, image to bring you to this, which is the texture. And now we can change the, the scale of it. Okay, there's the scale. The sample size is 1219 by uh, 866. So let's make it a little bit uh, bigger in scale. So let's make this uh, uh, 600. Okay. Oh no, sorry. Let's make this 2000. Click done. Click apply. Click OK. And that should be OK here. Click OK. It's not going to happen. If you will see, uh, it became like a red roof because we changed the color in the properties. Right? And of course, you can go back to your usual roof, which is your generic 125. But this is now your new roof. Let's see how it looks like now in the rendered, the realistic view of the project. Yeah, no. You've uh, increased the sizes of the tiles because we changed the scale and uh, you already have the, the color. You can change it as to your uh, preference. Go back to it in life. So that's a little bit more on your roof and I'll see you again on the next video. Thank you.